Hi everyone, Jeff here. I'm gonna compare all three trim levels of 2024 Land Cruiser so that you can pick the best one. Are they easy to compare? Well, kind of. It's a simplified trim level schedule. They're really easy to figure out once you kind of get the hang of 58, then Land Cruiser, then first edition. There, we got them all. Really cool, right? But how are you gonna differentiate them? I mean, two of the trim levels, they have round headlights. One of the trim levels has those slim, rectangular headlights. First, let's start with this list of options. You can stop the video and check them out. This is what's standard on 1958. Then we add or replace those features onto Land Cruiser trim level. Then to get to first edition, we're going to add or replace the things that you see in the Land Cruiser trim. And then that's it. Let's lay out the next steps because all of these trim levels are gonna have something in common, including the powertrain. We're gonna go 1958 trim then Land Cruiser trim, then first edition trim, and I'll tell you what's unique about each of those through video and pictures. Time to dissect 1958 trim level here. This is in meteor shower color. You'll notice the round LED headlamps here. First edition also has the round one, so that's one way to tell, boom. They're all gonna have Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, so that'll be something that you wanna look at as well. Now the fog lights, they're one color, they're the bright LED white, and they have rectangular housing in it. We can see a lot of black accent pieces, cladding, things like that. The grill, Toyota Heritage grill, you'll see that on all the trim levels. And it's also going to have the square grill design and pattern above and below. The ground clearance on Land Cruiser, generically speaking, is going to be 8.7 inches. Now these right here, we've got, ooh, look at that, 18 inch wheels. That's quite a profile, right? It's sturdy, it's boxy, it's rugged retro modern, I guess we can call it. The tires are gonna be the 245-70R17 tires. Also blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, black door handles. Of course, we've got the black accents all along the window trim here. Does not come standard with a moonroof, so that's something to think about. What do you think we'll find in the back? Well, LED tail lights, and then in the left side of the glass, we see that little square button there in the triangular piece pop that and that pops open the glass. You got to pull by the windshield wiper, but that's what it does. It has Land Cruiser badging, Toyota badging in black, iForce Max, we'll explain that. Has a hitch standard. Every trim level has the hitch, up to 6,000 pound tow capacity. I see backup sensors here as well. Let's go in reverse order and look at Land Cruiser trim level. Look at the back here. We've got a silver metallic bumper accent here. And then this one has the step bumper protector on it, backup sensors. The Land Cruiser badging, Toyota badging is gonna be the same. Has the backup camera. A lot of it's gonna be pretty identical. Ooh, look at this. This one here has the two-tone, the grayscape roof. A Little bit darker than Ice Edge. It also has roof rails on it. That'll be a little bit different than you'd see on 1958 trim level. Lots of black cladding as well. This one has the step rails on it. Gives a whole different vibe when you see the two-tone, doesn't it? So that's an option on the Land Cruiser trim level. These are 18-inch alloy wheels, and then the tires are gonna be 265-70R18 all-season tires. Well, we've still got the LED turn signal here, the blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, that heritage blue, pretty fancy. Okay, we've got a gray accent piece down by the lower bumper. I also see above that piece, the multi-terrain monitor, that's part of the multi-terrain camera. That's one of four cameras that will show you inside the multi-terrain monitor. So you can see in front of, the sides, all along the back, all that jazz. It'll really help you out in the trails. This has the rigid color selectable lights here for fogs. Woo, what can we do with that? We can change it to the amber colored yellow or you can go with the white, whichever you want to do for looks and for visibility. It has front parking sensors, active vents, and then it has the slim rectangular three beam it looks like led headlamps pretty cool stuff right toyota heritage grill as well first edition shown here in trail dust color it has round led headlamps just like our friend 1958 trim it'll have the rigid industries color selectable led fog lamps it has front parking sensors it'll have the multi-terrain monitor and that gray bumper strip down below it's going to have the skid plate here that's going to protect your components really when you're going on trails and things like that. Let's look at the side picture so we can see what we're dealing with here. It's gonna have 18 inch alloy wheels with 265-70R18 tires. What else do I see? 
This one's gonna have mud flaps on it. That's gonna be standard on this particular trim level. You'll also see roof rack, rock rails, all that jazz. It just looks really cool, especially with that two-tone. Now, what about colors here? I believe that we're gonna be able to see this one in a white color and also in the trail dust color, heritage blue and the meteor shower, which is the color that you see on 1958. With the white color, I'm not sure if that's ice cap or if that's wind chill pearl yet. If I had to guess, I would say ice cap, but I truly don't know. I can see on the spec sheet that this is gonna have a tailgate light, a back door guard. It'll have the gray metallic piece down here and backup camera, probably backup camera washer, LED lights all that jazz, but here's a good perspective of what it's gonna look like with the grayscape roof. Just imagine that in blue, in silverish gray maybe. Let's get on in this 1958 trim level. The first thing we're gonna notice, it's got fabric seats. This is the only trim level that has fabric seats, black in color. We've got power mirrors, power windows, and then a leather wrapped steering wheel. That's a heated steering wheel, also heated front seats, even though they're not soft techs or leather. You still have that even though they're manual seats, the driver does have a pump that can raise and lower you. Are we gonna have a moonroof? No, not standard on this particular one. It's got the oblique handles on driver and passenger side, first row and second row. You'll see auto dimming rear view mirror. It's gonna have Toyota audio multimedia. This will be the eight inch screen with a six speaker system. That's gonna be standard on this particular one. You will see things like crawl control and you'll have locking rear differential on this one, standard. You'll also have sport, eco, and normal mode. It's a 12.3 inch multi-information display. Second row, again, more cloth seats. The creature comforts here. We're gonna have a nice armrest here with cup holders. Also latches for child safety seats. And then in the center, we're gonna have, well, a light back there, USBs, USB-Cs, and also rear air vents there for second row people. Cargo space. We have a 2400 watt inverter, so you can plug in things like even a microwave if you want to and get that rolling, maybe a small fridge. There are gonna be tie downs, latches, things like that, little storage pockets in the front and the back of this. Land Cruiser trim level, this one's gonna be an upgrade from the 1958, and the first thing we're gonna see, look to the right. We've got a 12.3 inch multimedia screen, that's standard, 10 speaker system, goes up from the six speaker that are found in the 1958 trim. Of course, we'll do wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto for all trim levels. Look to the left now. You're gonna see a Hollywood sign and you're also gonna see Softex seat standard. This is Java color. You can either get black interior or the Java brown. For off-roading tools, we're gonna to add in multi-terrain select, front stabilizer bar disconnect to improve the flex when you're on trails and things like that, and also the multi-terrain monitor. All things to look for, heated and cooled seats, Power driver seat, power passenger seat, and in the back, more soft tax. It's everywhere, man, everywhere. You can upgrade. This one says JBL sound system because this has the premium package. So we've upgraded to that moonroof that you see there. Look at that, we've got the oblique handles here. The other thing, if you notice over on the right-hand side, it's got the USB-Cs, but it has, woo, look at that. It's got the temperature right there. So you've got back temperature, rear seat temperature controls. I also see, whoa, I'm glad I noticed this one. It's got the power steering wheel. That's pretty cool too. Glad I saw that. And then here's our cargo area in the Land Cruiser trim. Got the tie downs, the inverter. Just looks a little bit different with the brown or Java soft text. The first edition trim is going to have basically the same layout that you see in the Land Cruiser trim, except for these are going to be heated and cooled leather seats instead of soft text. We've upgraded, man. Upgraded. Here we've got the 12.3 inch screens on either side, Toyota Audio Multimedia System. It'll still have the off-roading tools that you come to love and expect. You can see the rear air temperatures back there as well. Looks like it's heated and cooled seats in the back. I can't confirm that that's the way it's gonna be. This could be a prototype. I mean, it is a prototype, but it also could be that. So let's just take a look here at some of the first edition. It's not like the first order from Star Wars, no. It's the first edition. It's not like new edition, cool it now with Bobby Brown, no. Here's a good look at the controls that you can use for off-roading. We've got locking rear differential, locking center differential, got the high four, low four. Also over here to the left of the shifter, we got downhill assist control, crawl mode, 
multi-terrain select, and you can do different drive modes as well. What do they all have in common? Well, starts with the platform, TNGAF, that's Toyota's global truck platform, has the ladder frame on all three trims. Engine, it's that turbocharged four-cylinder, 2.4 liter with the 1.87 kilowatt hour nickel metal hydride battery, eight speed automatic transmission. Woo, that's a mouthful, right? Then we've got full time four by four that has two speed transfer case. You can go high and low. Now this 2.4 liter four cylinder engine is matched with a 48 horsepower electric motor and that's wedged nicely between the engine and the transmission in a parallel hybrid system. You're gonna get 465 pound feet of torque, 326 horsepower, towing on all three trim levels up to 6,000. I don't know if that's gonna be staggered between trims or configurations, but that's what we've got to work with. And you can see the length, width, height, and also ground clearance, 8.7 inches. Look at the approach, breakover, and departure angles. It's only gonna really vary with that 1958 trim because it has a slightly less approach angle at 30 degrees than the other ones at 31. Holla, wheels. 18 inch alloys, 18 inch alloys, 18 inch alloys. It's like that show, Joker's Wild. Joker, Joker, Joker. And it looks like you can upgrade to 20 inch wheels woo, on the Land Cruiser trim. And you can see the tire differentiation there as well. What other questions are you gonna have about these trim levels? Remember, they've all got the same iForce Max powertrain and they've got the same Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. Inside, they've got the same general layout, but there'll be some feature differences for sure you'll see a lot of exterior differences that differentiate them because you want them to be uniquely unique, one of a kind, right? All right, when are they coming out? I was told early 2024 for the Land Cruiser generically, so we might get more information as the months get closer to the end of the year, but I don't know that for sure. Usually if something's coming out the beginning of 2024, we might see more information within a month of that. So it depends on what month in 2024 we might see information early, early next year, January, February, I just don't know. Pricing $55,000, right in that range, mid 50,000s, that's a great starting point. And Toyota made sure to announce that in their press release because look, we're going from a $90,000 vehicle that we had in the 200 series back in 2021. This is a huge difference, we're saving 33%. It's a little bit different vehicle, but can you really think about Land Cruiser now? Yeah, you can. At that price point, a lot more people are gonna be interested. Remember, 5,000 units will be distributed or manufactured or built in the first couple of months. They'll be the first edition ones. So if you want them, my suggestion is you go to your dealer, get yourself on a list. That's probably the best way you can do it. You won't know a lot of specs right now, but at least your name will be reserved for when the time comes to say, yes, I want it. That's my advice. Just talk with the dealer you trust and go from there. Thanks everybody so much. My two channels are Toyota Jeff Reviews and Auto Jeff Reviews. Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And guess what? I'll see you next time.